Hi, we're at the uh, Airway Conference today and uh, we just had a great uh, talk uh, with Dr. David Lycombe, uh, who is a maxillofacial surgeon uh, at the uh, Lifehouse uh, and uh, also Westmead. at uh, Westmead Hospital. And um, David's come up with an amazing technique that he could do the surgery before you start the orthodontic. For many years I've been doing orthodontic surgery where 18 months to two years to decompensate the arches in preparation for the surgery, the patient burns out and every day after surgery becomes a misery for everyone because they want the braces off and they're just, they're over it. Um, the ability to sit down with David and show the patient in 3D what we can do for them um, and David then planning the surgery. It makes my life easy because the amount of orthotics I have to do is minimized because already uh, the jaws are where I need them to be. So David, do you want to tell the audience a little bit more about this? It really comes down to being able to plan these cases digitally, then working with the orthodontist to see whether or not the results that we can achieve with surgery first before the braces have been applied will put the teeth in a position where it's now easy to complete the case. So typically you would take some scans of the teeth, take some x-rays, merge the two, and then you would mock the surgery uh, digitally and then be able to present the orthodontist and the patient with the various options of treatment. You can achieve a result where the bones are now in the right position and then it's just a matter for the orthodontist to finish the case. That reduces treatment time. It also like Derek says, makes the emotional burden of the build-up towards surgery less of an issue. Patients who do go through with surgery become a little bit depressed after it because there's been such an extensive build-up. The other thing is uh, if you've been involved in a surgical case and you realise that uh, most of the surgeons are using titanium screws uh, preformed uh, and getting them to fit as best they can, have a look at this technology where uh, this is um, all planned uh, and perfectly fits. Using printed plates, uh, it's developed by a company in Belgium that enables us to custom fit a, a plate so we can apply them to the, to the skeleton, cut along the various aspects of it, and we can also drill the holes to where the, the final plate is going to sit. So once we've done the cuts, we can then take this off, we then complete the down fracture of the maxilla and then we apply a custom printed plate to pre-drilled holes and that gives us a, a very high degree of accuracy. And David also, um, uh, post-surgery, rather than just use elastics to the teeth, he uses a lot of TADS uh, and elastics and that gives us better skeletal anchorage to make sure that things are stabilised. I've had many cases where uh, you're relying on uh, semi rigid fixation using elastics to teeth and of course then the teeth are going to move where you don't want them to go and it's not really stabilizing the bone. So the ability of using TADS with elastics, the precision planning, this is really the future of orthodontic surgery. So thanks very much for your time Dave and uh, as always great lecture. Thank you. Okay.